So many amazing bikes at the AMA Hall of Fame. How cool is that, Steve? Yeah, Show me cool. the, the, the cutaways here. So what we've got here is a, a cutaway of an Italian engine, uh, Moto Guzzi. So this is what you can see of the inner workings of the motor. Like we can see the valve train here, our charging system. Here's our uh, distributor. Okay, inside the exhaust pipes, we, we go to the back here. This is our starter motor, our transmission and, and final drive and the, and the way that the brake drum works. So you can pretty much learn anything about the inner workings of this V-twin motor. Let's go down here. You can see the crankshaft down in the, in the sump. Yeah, this is very, very educational um, tool that, that we can use here. It really is, and you have it for, for this motorcycle as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so this is an old, um, it's an old, uh, it's either a Triumph or a Ducati single cylinder. Um, no, actually it's a BSA single cylinder. It looked like a Triumph motor, but yeah. So a single cylinder B50 motor. And you can see the timing chain. This is the generator. The cams in here. Your really gearbox. Good. Yeah. Points cover with your ignition system in there. Real cool. Beautiful. It is cool. How about a 500cc two-stroke triple cutaway? What do you guys check this out? You guys will never believe what we found. An H1500 cutaway engine. Take a look at this. This is so educational. I've never seen a triple engine from this perspective, this vantage point. I'm going to go nice and slow here. So if you are as amazed as I am, feel free to play this back. Of course, the Kawasaki H1 Mach 3 was a two-stroke 500cc sport bike made by Kawasaki from 1969 through 1975. The goal here was to produce a 500cc motorcycle that could develop 60 horsepower and have 13-second quarter-mile times. A true air-cooled three-cylinder two-stroke triple piece of history. Isn't that amazing? I didn't know that a cutout engine for an H1 existed. And there's the machine it belonged to. I want one someday. If you know where I can pick one up, please let me know. I love two strokes. I love old classics. I love motocross, supercross machines. How cool is Jeff Emick's two stroke there? It's very admirable of Jeff to loan his bikes to the AMA Hall of Fame. What a collection, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this. I want to know down below, what was your favorite motorcycle and why? Is it Doug Henry's? Wouldn't be a bad pick. Or is it Ricky Carmichael's? Or is it something that we saw in the flat track section? Is it something that we saw over in the off-road section? Or are you going to go all the way back to this? Wow. Unfortunately, this has to come to an end, Steve. We can't take up all your time. But I just really want to say thank you so much. This has been Amazing. Do you guys have a good time over here? Absolutely. Oh, I'll be back. It's, <laughs> yeah, come back soon. to see the, uh, the changes that Steve was telling us about, but uh, it's, please make time to come see it right now because this is a motorcycle uh, enthusiast dream. It really is. Steve, if anybody wants to stop by or get in touch with you guys, what's the best, best way to get some information? So you guys can um, just swing by or you can go to the AMA website, which is uh, AmericanMotorcyclists.org, uh, .com, sorry. Um, we're open from nine till five, seven days a week. So. Guys, check it out. Let us know. You will not be disappointed. If you have any questions, leave them down below and we will help guide you to Columbus, Ohio. This is amazing. Right off of 70. Make sure you stop. There is so much to see. What an awesome experience. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, now's your time to comment down below. Let me know your favorite motorcycle and why. And make sure you get here. It's a convenient stop off of 70. It's really convenient if you're a drag racer. If you're coming from Indy, going back east, it's a good way to break up the drive. I always stop when I'm coming back from the NHRA US Nationals or an NHDRO event. How about that Z1R? I wanted to load that one up and take it home. Shout out to my good friend, Rob Muzzy and Wayne Rainey. It was great to see that piece of history. 
So please, more than anything, share this video with a motorcycle friend. I don't care where they live. It's a great way to plan a ride. Heck, I might even come with you. Let me know. I grew up in Pittsburgh, so I'm not terribly far away. You never know when I'll be in town. This is a great excuse to jump on the motorcycle, jump on 70, and head out and out to the AMA Museum and Hall of Fame. All different eras, all different forms of racing, and I gotta thank my friend Steve Austin. What a great tour guide he is. What a valuable asset to the AMA to have Steve. So much to see, guys. Really, really hope you enjoyed it. Can somebody please give me that GPZ turbo? I think the problem is I want them all. And I did not know that about the Terminator 2 Judgment Day bike. I think that's a really cool story. There's one that you can tell your friends. Hey, did you know the T-1000 didn't really jump a KZ-1000? Great to see the BSAs. Steve certainly knew his history on BSA. And how about for you Harley Davidson fans? No breaks way back when. And if you know me, you know I'm a KZ guy, but I got to agree with what Steve said, that the BSA may have been the more stylish motorcycle. They were ahead of their time. The simulator was super cool. The Hall of Fame was super cool. And you know what, guys? This is why we're here. How about this one? This brought a tear to my eye. The Elmer Trett, the greatest motorcycle drag racer of all time, in our opinion. He went 606 and 96, and now he's rightfully enshrined in the Hall of Fame. Great to see Scott Harden and company, the Wheelie King. Come on, I know you guys got some stories from the Wheelie King. Now, if you can't get here, don't worry. We got your back. This is why we do these videos. This is why we travel the globe. How about Jim McClure? So great to see that legendary motorcycle drag racer enshrined. We sure do miss Jim. And I know Jim would appreciate his presence in the AMA Hall of Fame. From a drag bike standpoint too, we're gonna help Steve try to get some more drag racing machines in here alongside Jeff Emig's collection. Wouldn't it be cool if we could get a hold of one of Jim McClure's bikes or one of Elmer Trett's old bikes to be alongside these greats, these legends. What an experience, guys. Truly loved it. Hope you did as well. This is why we're here for you. Do please make sure you subscribe to Cycle Drag on YouTube, like CycleDrag.com on Facebook, and we will keep the action coming. That one brought a tear to my eye. I watched Doug Henry in Steel City way back when win the championship. When nobody thought he could do it on a four-stroke, he did. Jeff Emig's first bike. Got to meet Jeff quite a few times. Great guy. Great to hear everything going well in his career as well. Check out those Emig grips, those are cool. Look at this piece of history. Shout out to Electron. There's some early Electron decals. Learned a lot about BSA during this trip as well. And of course, a lot about Harley Davidson, including how it all started. Wouldn't mind having one of the mystery machines as well. If you've ever ridden a mystery machine, let me know. My stepdad has one of these. I grew up on one of these. I know you had one of those, Mini Trail 50s. And make sure you enter the raffle to try to win this bike. So much fun was had. We loved it. I hope you did too. Thank you, AMA. Thank you, Steve. I know my father and my godfather were just over the moon. That's the reaction you get from motorcycle enthusiasts when you take them to the Hall of Fame. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope we provided you with a little bit of entertainment. That's always what we aim to do. We love motorcycles, you love motorcycles. Let's keep this thing growing. Check it out guys, up here on the wall, 100,000 subscribers, I love it. Thank you so much, it's all because of you. We appreciate it. Please come with any story ideas. We love the comments and the feedback. I read every single one of them. The positivity is always appreciated and you haters out there, I love you too, because you keep me on my toes. Thank you for watching no matter what. Guys, to keep this thing growing, please subscribe to Cycle Drag on YouTube, hit the bell for notifications, share it with some friends who like drag racing, like motorcycles, this is how we can keep this thing going, and also like cycledrag.com on Facebook, and we'll keep rolling, we'll keep finding those stories, we'll keep finding those impressive, high-performance motorcycles that you wanna see. Thank you guys so much, truly appreciate it. You know, if there's anything fast motorcycles involved, we are in Cycle Drag.
Ladies and gentlemen, the legend, the legend is here. How are you doing, sir? I'm cycle dragging. I'm cycle dragging. That's what I'm doing. Cycle dragging forever and ever and ever. You are the man. Sweep the leg, right? Sweep the leg, no mercy, and cycle dragging. Brad, your 20 time top fuel champion, uh, world record holder. And one thing I'd like to do would be think cycledrag.com on Facebook. And I'd like for everybody to watch the and view Cycle Drag on YouTube. People that help us out, help our sport out a lot. And uh, if you don't support them, um, it's hard for us to give you support, guys. And just keep, keep supporting my man, Jack, and we'll be here long. Wait a minute, is it the legendary Jesse James? Are you really the legendary Jesse James? Sometimes, only in my own mind. What do you got on your hat? Cycle drag. You're the man. Do you watch the Cycle Drag YouTube channel? No. But you should. <laughs> we hope that you'll start watching, and I appreciate it. Yep. Well, there's a man headed for the hall, no doubt, Jesse James. Thanks so much, guys. Do please make sure to share this video, subscribe, follow, like, and you know if there's anything fast motorcycles involved, we're in Cycle Drag. Rolls on.